Lydia Daydal, Fight Connect TV, and I'm here at Manor Boxing Academy in Sheffield with soon-to-be professional boxer Sheldon McDonald. And we're here in association with Empire Fight Store. Well, thank you very nice much. To meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you for taking time out of your training session to do this interview. How are we? I'm great, thank you. I uh, got a little injury where I'm uh, resting at the moment. I'm only punching with one hand, but a couple more weeks, be back firing and pushing on for that debut. Well, listen, this is why I wanted to get you on camera. For me, successful amateurs that turn pro is like one of my favorites, mm -hmm. like pieces of boxing. <laughs> I'm always very interested in one, you know, why you're deciding to go professional, you know, what is it about what you've experienced in your amateur career that's, you know, led you to want to have a professional career. So what is it for you? How long have you actually been boxing? Well, it's a strange one for me because I've been boxing since I could walk. My dad was a Thai boxer. So I've always been in amongst boxing in, in the gym. Yeah. Um, so that's where I've learned my skills really um, throughout, um, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. um, boxing wasn't my first sport. It was mainly football. Uh, it was my older brother that was actually the one that took the boxing on. Um, so I mainly did football myself, um, but I was always in and out the gym with my dad um, in the evenings before football training, etc. Mm -hmm. um, so I got that to a, like a semi-pro level um, and I didn't see myself excelling anymore in football, mm -hmm. etc. Um, I sadly lost my older brother as well. So that's kind of what geared me. I thought, oh, I'll do a tribute fight, you know, just kind of get my... You know, I, I wanted to lose weight as well. I was going, I was a bit overweight at that time. So I thought, I'll do a tribute fight. And um, that when, obviously I did that fight and then um, Roger, who I'm um, training down at Manor Boxing at the moment, he said, you know what, we're going to put you into the national title. Um, well, the championships, it's novice you know, championships, put you in there. Um, I only had one previous fight before that. Um, and then it was a good journey. I won the Yorkshire's area and then ended up winning the national title all in seven fights. So it happened quite quick, yeah. but obviously I had the skills and it was a really good experience. Um, obviously after that, this is then when the, um, I had an injury in 2019 with my elbow. It kept, kept me out of the next the championships. And then obviously the COVID's hit. Mm -hmm. um, my advisor at the moment is Johnny Nelson. And um, he's the one what's really geared me into turning over to professional so soon. Um, ideally, I would have liked to do a bit more myself personally at amateur. Now I've got my, you know, my myself in the game. Yeah. But um, he has advised me to turn professional, and I'm taking his advice. And yeah, I'm just kind of building up to that now. Well, I know we were talking before we started the interview, and obviously uh, Jamie Sheldon, our, our extraordinary court man who, who was on Team Empire with us, he obviously had met you before, you sparred yeah. together, he saw you coming in, he was like, <laughs> I've sparred him, he's a unit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. obviously you've been to Ingalls, Jamie, mm -hmm. you've trained in there, and obviously having uh, Johnny Nelson as your advisor, I mean... Of all the advisors you could have, I mean, Johnny Nelson is up yeah, there as the best, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he's definitely. walked the walk, talks the yeah. talk, right? Yeah, definitely. I've been down to the Ingle Gym a couple of times. Fantastic environment down there. Good energy. That's where I met Jamie down there. We did a bit of sparring together. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's really good. It's all in my development. So I'm just, yeah. that's all I'm going for. I'm trying to, you know, obviously I know I'm, I'm, I'm only a novice coming into the, into the professional ranks. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to soak up as much experience as I can. Yeah. Obviously with Johnny being my weight as a cruiserweight, what I'm going to be going into, all that experience, all that knowledge he's got, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to soak it up as a sponge. And um, yeah, going around to gyms like, such as the Ingle Gym, Clifton Mitchell in Derby, yeah. all these things are all going to gear me up to obviously start my professional career and keep me going. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously I've got big ambitions. Absolutely. And I, I can see it in your, your energy. I can definitely tell that, you know, you're, you're ambitious and you want to work and you're ready for this. And the cruiserweight division as well, like we're seeing, you know, the last we, Richard Ria Kapore, Tom McCarthy, the, the cruiserweight division is very exciting at the moment. Definitely. It's very exciting. And I, I do think there's a, there's a gap in the market there um, in terms of um, a lot of the overweight categories. Um, there's a lot of domestic fighters, you know, in there from England doing well. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the cruiserweights are really taking off as well. Yeah. So I want to get myself amongst there and, and, and try and solidify myself as, you know, a good cruiserweight from Britain as well. So Absolutely. So do we have a fight date or we just know it's coming? Yeah, I just know it's coming. Yeah. Um, I'm signed with Silverback at the moment. So they're on, on task with getting me my debut. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that will be coming soon. Um, obviously, with my, uh, I've had a little niggle with my thumb injury. Um, that's going to be, I'm on the back end of that now. Mm -hmm. So once that's all, all sorted out, then there'll be no reason why we can't get everything set up and geared to, hopefully, I'm all hopefully fingers crossed September I mean uh, uh, looking at those who've gone before you you know like obviously you're inspired by different boxes you're inspired by the game but you obviously you know you'll want to carve out your own legacy in this sport but is there anyone in particular that inspired you when you were growing up 
Um, I think Anthony Joshua inspired me. I think that was one where it was like a situation where he's not been, um, you know, in the sport all his life. Yeah. He started late and just looking at his path, that inspired me because I thought, even though I have been boxing from a young age, um, I've been mainly focusing on football. I've not had any major fights in amateur, but it can be done. So that, I think that, that kind of changed my perspective. I didn't think, oh, I think I went from a mindset of thinking, oh, I should have done boxing. Um, you know, I should have been doing all these fights as a kid mm -hmm. to thinking, even though I hadn't had all them fights as a kid, I could still make it to the big yeah. time. So I think that's one what stands out for me. Obviously, the recent one with um, Tyson Fury, with uh, that other side of like the mental struggle, the mental like the depression, mental health, the all the awareness he's brought. That's really inspiring as well for me because it just that's a big part of it as well. So and it's I, a big part of boxing, big you know, boxing. whether people want to admit it or not. The mental yeah. side and mental health is a huge part of, yeah, of, really. of element of the sport. And it's like one of them things what's not really being spoken about that much. And it he kind of paved the way like un unnervingly said it and um, put it out there. So that was uh, inspiring, definitely inspiring. I must ask, who do you support football? Well, I am a Tottenham Hotspur fan, so. So am I! Oh, Come yeah. on! Fan, yeah. So I didn't even know I'm that. glad I'm uh, I'm I glad I'm out. Favorite player? But I do try and keep it a bit quiet in the gym because there's a lot of Arsenal fans in here. Yeah, right? get and, them, uh, out. get them, out. Obviously, Ant Man, he's a Sheffield United fan, so. Yeah. Who's your favorite, to, player, favorite player? Favorite player? Harry Kane. Ah, okay, Harry Kane. okay. I'm okay. Jurgen Klinsmann, but a little but bit, little different. Talk, history of um, Tottenham, I said Jimmy in the four. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. What do you think of our, our new manager? Um, not very proud of that. Really. No, 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 no. I'll be honest. I'm not a fan. We want the big but boss back. You might have better than Jose. Yeah. Oh, come on. I love Jose. <laughs> Jose. Listen, Jose has a place in my heart. But final question. Your dad was in Thai boxing. Mm -hmm. Did you start in Thai boxing? No, he would never let me do Thai boxing. Yeah. Well, it's a brutal nagging. sport, right? I used to nag him as a kid. Like, show me the kicks. Show me the kicks. I wanted to be like my dad. I wanted to do the Thai boxing. Yeah. It never. It's too brutal. It would never show it yeah. me. So I'll just stick to the boxing. Have you ever took an elbow to the head? I've took a shin from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> but listen, it's so lovely to, to speak to you. And no yeah, doubt we'll yeah. be back then again when you make your pro debut. So thank you so much for yeah, the time. Uh, Sheldon McDonald for Fight Connect TV.